All right, so this is the Sattva Classic mattress. If you've been in the market for a new bed, it's likely you've come across the Sattva brand. They've had their ads on TV, they're often selected as a top pick on national morning shows, and they're one of the favorites of a bunch of review sites, including us. So let's take a look at whether you get what you pay for, so to speak, and one reason why you might want to really, really think twice about buying this bed. But you know what? Let's do this somewhere else. Ah, that's fun. So we're down here in LA visiting the Sattva house, which is this fun little space they developed where they shoot their commercials and really kind of help create just a vibe around the brand. Now, just about every room in this house is expertly appointed and it is very, very nice. You also get a great sense for who Sattva is trying to market these beds to, sort of that upper middle-class suburban crowd. But okay, who is Sattva? So the brand started in 2010 as a direct-to-consumer mattress maker, and they have several models to choose from. You can get an all-foam bed, you can get a latex bed, even an air bed that allows you to customize the firmness level. But we're gonna take a look at the Sattva Classic, which is their flagship bed, and it happens to be the one that we like for most people. Now, the reason we like this for most people is just because of how versatile it is. You can choose from three different firmness options, you can choose two different heights, and you get eight different sizes to choose from. So if you're counting along at home, that's 48 different permutations of just one bed. Now, depending on what you're looking for in a bed, Sapa's gonna have you covered. In fact, all of their beds are made to order. You get a full 365 nights to try it out. And rather than getting your mattress rolled up in a box for easy shipping, Sapa is gonna deliver your bed directly to you as it is. All right, so let's take a look at the Sapa Classic. This is a hybrid bed, or what the brand often cites, as a luxury inner spring bed. There isn't a ton of difference between those two terms. The main point here is that the base of the bed is constructed using thick coils, and then there will be layers of polyfoam or memory foam on top of that. Now the actual construction of the bed will vary based on the firmness level you select and the height. We have a full breakdown of all the specs of those beds over at sleepfoundation.org. Generally speaking though, each bed starts with a cover that's made from an organic cotton. The top layer underneath that cover is a Euro top layer made from polyfoam and then additional fiber fill. Beneath that is another layer of polyfoam just under about three quarters of an inch. And then that's followed by a layer of memory foam about a third of an inch. And then here's where it gets kind of fun. Most hybrid beds offer just one layer of coils, but Sapa has two layers. So beneath these foam layers, you get a four inch layer of coils. And the benefit here is that you'll get really good support but the coils are also light enough that they're gonna move with your body and most importantly, adapt to your body. The base of the bed, the very foundation of the bed, is that second layer of coils. These are made from a slightly thicker gauge coil. They are shaped a little bit like an hourglass. Now, the size of the base will depend on the height of the bed that you choose, so it's either gonna come in at around four inches or seven inches. But okay, I mentioned the Classic is available in these multiple firmness options, and I guess the next question is how do you choose? You can get the Safa Classic in what they call the Plush Soft, the Luxury Firm, or just the Firm. And in our testing, these rate about a three, a six, and an eight on our 10 point firmness scale. Now, we think the Luxury Firm is gonna be great for most people. In fact, we like the Plush Soft if you're under 130 pounds, and then only if you're really just a side sleeper. On the other end, the firm is a great choice if you're someone who is on the heavier side. Think about 230 pounds or more. Back in our Seattle test lab, we put the Sattva Classic through our testing. And as you might expect, the mattress excels at temperature control. Now, one of the main culprits of a bed that tends to sleep hot is the presence of memory foam. And on the Sattva Classic, there just isn't a lot of foam to begin with. The bulk of the bed is made with these dual layers of coils. So again, you might anticipate that the bed sleeps rather cool, and wouldn't you know it? It does. Our testing team laid on the Sattva for five minutes, and then we used a heat gun to record how much the bed began to heat up. Then our tester got up and measured how long it took for the bed to return to its baseline temperature. As you can see from this chart, the Sattva Classic doesn't heat up nearly as much as the average foam hybrid, but most importantly, it cools off noticeably quicker as well. The one thing our tester also reported was this feeling of sleeping on the bed rather than sleeping in it. So in short, when you feel that on a bed, when you don't sink too much into a surface, it's just gonna be one more factor in helping you sleep cool throughout the night. One of the things we often find with relatively firm beds is yeah, they sleep very cool, but you often sacrifice some of that cooling for comfort and pressure relief. In other words, when you don't sink too much into a bed, you don't sink too much into a bed. And that's gonna be more opportunity to develop pressure points throughout the night. But what we found surprising on the Sattva was just how well it performed 
in our pressure relief testing. We test a bed's pressure relief by laying a pressure pad on the surface, and then we map those places where more pressure builds up. So take a look at this graphic. You can see that back and stomach sleepers fared quite well. But then even on our side sleeper, the green you notice around the shoulders and the hips, well, that means that the pressure was nominal by comparison. In fact, according to our testing team, the pressure relief on the Sopha Classic was about what you'd expect from a hybrid mattress with thicker foam layers. And it even competes with some all foam beds. Now, of course, with foam beds, you do get incredible pressure relief. That's kind of their selling point, but they also tend to sleep quite hot. And so with the Sopha Classic, you kind of get the best of both worlds situation here. All right, well, one other thing we should point out really quickly, our testing found the edge support on the Sopha Classic to be really, really good. Our testing team placed weights along the perimeter of the bed and found minimal compression. And that means you're gonna get a very, very strong edge. Compared to the average hybrid mattress, you're gonna find the Sopha's edge to be sturdy and hold up under your body weight, whether you're just sitting on the edge of the bed, or maybe you've been you know, nudged to the edge of the bed by either a partner or a rather selfish pet. Well, speaking of partners and pets, if you share a bed with either of those, it's often the case that you might look for a bed with good motion isolation. So how did the Sopha do? Well, not great. Our testing team performs a couple of tests in order to come to that conclusion. First, they drop 25 pound weights from various heights to record how that drop ripples across the surface of the bed. As you can see from this chart, our results show the Sopha's performance was below average. And look, that makes sense. It's a relatively firm bed, it has minimal foam, it's almost entirely made up of coils. There just isn't a lot of material to absorb that energy. The second test they perform is recording vibrations on the surface as they move positions in bed and get in and out of bed. But again, you can see from this chart that we recorded more vibrations during those movements than the average foam hybrid bed. So in short, if you're someone who's already easily awoken by movements in the bed, maybe you're a light sleeper, or you just have a super restless bed partner, then we'd really caution you to think hard about the Sopha Classic. Now look, any bed is gonna come with a set of trade-offs. In this case, with the Sopha Classic, you're gonna get top-notch pressure relief, a very cool sleep, it's just that those things are going to come at the cost of solid motion isolation. So you just have to do a little math. You have to decide what's most important for you in a purchase of your mattress. Well, after all of that, does the Sopha hold up to its luxury vibes? I mean, it certainly looks the part. That stitched logo on the cover and these gold accents exude a really nice refined feel. And you certainly are buying into this luxury mattress experience with the Sopha price tag. But look, if you take all of these things into consideration, the bed does well, temperature control, pressure relief, overall support, it might very well be worth the money you do spend. Just make sure you don't move it all at night. Like sleep very still. There's a lot more on the Sopha Classic on our website, so check out our full review over at sleepfoundation.org. And hey, if you like what you see, but you want some of our other picks for best hybrid mattresses, check out our best hybrid mattress video right here. That's it for this one, everyone. Thanks for watching. Sleep well.